Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep, in and out breaths. And try to stay with the sensation of the breathing. All the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. You have to train the mind to stay here. You have to make up your mind that you're going to stay here. Give directions to the mind and see that it carries it through. Because otherwise the mind likes to go wandering off. It's like a little child. It, if it hasn't been trained, it will jump on anything. See something bright and it will jump on it. Sometimes try to put it in its mouth. And some bright things are okay, and other bright things are dangerous. Shards of glass, fire, these are bright. In the same way, the mind gets attracted to things and it just goes for them, often without thinking about what's going to be the result over the long term. So you have to train it first to say, okay, you, you go after things only when you know what they're going to lead to. And this is why we meditate. Because you have to remember that. It's so easy to forget. Something new comes along and you just jump for it. But if your mindfulness is good, you can remember, okay, don't go after things just because they look interesting. You have to look at them first from all sides before you decide whether it's a thing worth going for. And things here can mean even just your thoughts. Thoughts come up in the mind and we run with them, often without thinking about where they're going. That's just there and it's entertaining. And if we don't think, we think we're going to be bored. And so we just go off and Follow whatever thought comes along, whatever idea comes through our heads. Sometimes they get lodged in there for a long period of time. So the mind needs to be trained, which means you make up your mind it's going to do something and you make sure that it does it. In this case, you make sure it stays with the breath. If it slips off, you just bring it right back. It slips off again, bring it back again. This way you teach it new habits. And you teach this part of the mind that's more in charge, really to be in charge. So that when it says, okay, don't think about that, the mind obeys. When it says to think about this, okay, it obeys. Your thinking, if it serves a purpose, is all fine and good. But oftentimes we destroy ourselves with thinking that doesn't serve any purpose at all. So try to be a little bit more in charge of what you're going to think about, where you're going to go. Remember that the sign of a wise person is to train the mind. It's, the foolish person doesn't see there's any need to train the mind. The foolish person just goes for whatever's out there, whatever seems pleasant. But the wise person realizes, okay, if you're going to find true happiness in life, the mind has to be trained first. Because even if you do get good things, if the mind isn't wise, you can use those good things to destroy itself. To try to train the mind to be circumspect, to look at things from all sides. Now we would get benefit from the good things in the world, and we can avoid the problems of the bad things in the world, both the world outside and the world inside. <laughs>